Blanton's Gold Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Is that worth getting? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Hello, my whiskey people. Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you another bourbon from Buffalo Trace. This is Blanton's. This is Blanton's Gold. Now, this one is a single barrel, and uh, the proof on this one, let me just find that. This is 51.5 uh, alcohol by volume, or 103 proof, and it's from Warehouse H, as all the Blantons is from at uh, over at uh, Buffalo Trace. And this one was dumped on um, December 26, 2019. Apparently, this is six to eight years old. Now, this is mash bill number two from Buffalo Trace, which means that it's about 12% rye, 5% malted barley, and the remainder being corn. Let's get that open, and we'll get it poured. Are you a Blanton's collector? Do you have all of the horses? All the jockeys, I should say. Just a little bit. All right, so we'll check out the color and we'll check out the legs of Blanton's gold. Then we'll look at the nose, the palette, the finish, uh, neat and with water, and then give it a whiskey whistle whiskey score. Now, by the way, make sure you subscribe to Whiskey Whistle right here and hit the bell, ding, ding, so you'll be notified of the future Whiskey Whistles coming out. And why not jump in and support the channel on Patreon and join the Whiskey Whistle crew, patreon.com slash whiskey whistle. Check it out. Okay, on to the color. So what do we see there for color for Blanton's Gold? I feel like that's a little bit lighter than Stag Jr., uh, which could be because of the ABV. This is considerably, considerably uh, more dilute. And uh, oh, by the way, this has the same barrel char. This is char number four as well. So a nice sort of a medium copper hue and doesn't look much different to my still that I have over here. Let's check the legs out for Blanton's Gold. Now, I'm guessing the legs will look thicker just because it's more dilute. Yeah, very slow, very trickly legs. Again, I believe that's because of the ABV, the proof. Interesting. So it makes sense in a way uh, when you think about experience and how people experience things with their senses. And um, in the past, 90 proof was kind of very, like very, very popular. Also 100 proof. And that is basically right around 45 to 50%. So almost plus or minus just a little bit from the um, the highest viscosity. So onto the nose. Immediately, I really get the, the sense of that higher rye component here compared to Stag Jr. And they're roughly about the same age. That's a single barrel versus a multi, multi barrel and multi cask uh, vatting. Distinctly more spicy. And I don't get the cherry. I do get that kind of uh, um, candy corn note. And I get some wonderful uh, crisp apple skins. A little bit of mint. There's a, a slight floral herbal kind of a note here as well. One might say this is more elegant. It might be a little bit better balanced in terms of uh, bitter, sour, um, sweet, and uh, 
savory and spicy. Definitely more herbaceous. All right, let's check out the palette. Cheers. In a way, it's more friendly and kind on your palate compared to the Stag Junior, but it's lacking that really bold sweetness. Again, what you get here is balance. We have a candy-like note. We have some um, some fresh apple orchard skins and uh, also some kind of like a herbaceous field uh, wildflower sort of scent. Flavor, pardon me. Interestingly, it's drier. But... I'm enjoying that freshness, that subtle mint and herbaceousness of this being slightly more, uh, slightly higher rye component. The finish is long, it's dry, it's sweet, it's herbal. It's got a little bit of tartness. So again, I'll just use the word balance. This is really, really well balanced. Let's add just a little bit of water and see what happens. The quote unquote bourbon and branch. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops. That's about um, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 milliliters. So not very much water. Uh, we'll still be probably at 50% uh, ABV or 100 proof. And let's see here. It kind of ruins the nose. The nose becomes a little bit sour. A little bit um, gone. It's like it's vanished. And there's a there's a timber note here, so oak timber. Yeah, I don't like that uh, that nose as much with water added at all. In fact, I don't care for it one bit, to be honest. It's sort of rebounding here, but overall it's still a little bit um, subpar. Okay, the palette with water, let's see, let's hope things are better here. Not as sweet, a little bit drier, more, more of that herbaceousness. A little bit more of the that minty aspect that it, to me is the rye talking. The finish is not quite as dry. I would say this is ideally drunk at bottle strength. That's what I think. Hmm. Well, it's time to get onto the whiskey whistle whiskey score for Blanton's Gold Edition. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 86 out of 100. You heard it. 86 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Blanton's Gold. Depending on the price, that could be a good bourbon to try. Um, and there are people out there who really dig that herbal, the herbal notes you're getting here. Uh, that might be the ideal bourbon for them. Now, I have another Blanton's that, that I bought in Korea that I never reviewed. 
I've got a sample. That's the green from from uh, from Japan, I believe. I'll try that one day soon. Well, hope you like that. Let me know your thoughts on Blanton Gold and what what else I should try in the bourbon world or in the American whiskey world. I would supremely love to try um, Balcona's uh, the uh, the Texas single malt. I've tried it once at a bar in Ontario, but I haven't had it since. I sure hope that changes. So again, right over here, hit that bell to subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. If you're in Winnipeg, join the Winnipeg Whiskey Club. And every, every summer we do a bourbon barbecue. So do check that out, okay? And don't forget to join the Whiskey Whistle crew on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Whiskey Whistle. One dollar to seven, whatever you like. You set the limits, you're in the driver's seat, and you get your name in the credits coming up, as well as advanced viewing of the Whiskey Whistles, okay? Hope you like that. Uh, hope it sounds good. Take care, everybody. We'll see you.